it is an AGI race now. Even these trillion dollar companies can't keep up with the open source world, which is just a far larger community. We've actually got a bunch of folks in the singular net ecosystem who've been working on AGI for anywhere between five and, and 40 years, and have been preparing for the AGI race. Feels like you guys are firing all cylinders, which is great to hear, because when January came out, it was like, oh, it's just gonna be these trillion dollar tech companies. But I had conversations behind the scenes with you and Janet and a bunch of members of your team, and you were always all highly confident that your deep AGI knowledge from, like you said, decades, was always gonna take you further. And it's nice to see that even coming more to fruition. We're actually much better prepared to take a large language model, put it together with a knowledge graph, and then do sophisticated logical reasoning on that knowledge graph, and have that logical reasoning sort of coordinate with what happens in the LLM. We're way better prepared to do that than Google or Microsoft or, or Facebook. It's funny because, in a way, you would think big tech has a big lead, but actually, when you analyze step by step, you see, well, wait a minute, they're hitting brick walls that they need to work around by integrating neural with symbolic AI, and they're not good at symbolic AI because they haven't built those, those teams. I wanted to get your thoughts on Jeffrey Hinton, who just left Google, you know, known as the godfather of AI, himself said that he was surprised at how fast the LLMs developed. What was your reaction to him and his statements? I think his instinct is, whoa, these are big changes. Maybe we should be taking it slowly. Whereas my gut instinct, just as a human being, is these are big changes, cool, bring it on, right? It's exciting. <laughs> it's good to have this diversity of human natures involved, which is part of why I think decentralization and democratization is so good. You're gonna see more of these high profile academics going out of big tech as they realize you can still be at the forefront of research working in the open source domain. Never underestimate the power of a small group of highly motivated individuals that want to do the right thing. We couldn't be more excited to be working with you on Zarka and the more I get to know your team the more I'm impressed from Janet to Sergey to all the people. Pairing some of us old hands with a bunch of youthful energy with open source communities we can certainly give the uh, trillion dollar big tech companies are run for their corrupt money.